Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? It is currently about 4.30 p.m. on Saturday afternoon, and I'm sitting outside in the freezing cold. Um, there's a reason why I'm sitting out here today. It is currently about 13 degrees outside, and um, I think that's what it said in Alex's car when we were coming home from brunch today. Um, but uh, I have had a few requests for me to walk around the neighborhood and, and show all the snow that we've got. So I thought, well, why not do that today? Because in all honesty, I know I say this a lot, but I wasn't going to film any videos today. But I'm taking the whole day off tomorrow because I, I thought about it. I was like, well, I'll try to come home from the birthday party, maybe film something. I thought, no, just go in tomorrow. Go into to tomorrow knowing that you're not going to film anything. You're just going to take the whole day off to spend with family and then to come home and spend with Alex and Boo. Um... I thought we might watch a bunch of shows this afternoon, and so I thought maybe I would just, you know, uh, uh, watch shows with Alex and stuff like that. But he's upstairs actually in bed, uh, doing, uh, looking at TikToks, and then he is going to start. He finished Trader season one, so he's going to start watching Trader season two to get caught up. And then tomorrow, when we come home from the birthday party, we're going to catch up on Real Housewives of Miami, Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, RuPaul's Drag Race, and then I think I'm going to watch the fourth episode of Traders again with him. So um, that will be tomorrow, and and then I also have tomorrow, I have True Detective comes on tomorrow night, and 90 Day Fiance, which I'm already caught up on, so I'm real excited about watching that episode. But yeah, so today we got up, and um, I actually got up earlier than my alarm, and Alex said, um, he was like, do you, he was like all cozy next to Boo and stuff like that, and he said, do you want to go to brunch today? And said, so, because we can't go tomorrow because our nephew's birthday party tomorrow is from two to five. So we usually go to brunch about, you know, after two sometime. And I was like, yeah, sure. So let's go to brunch. So we went to brunch, had a wonderful brunch. Um, and we, I had the, I had the cup of coffee, which I have right here is, um, it's just the Patashu blend because it was Highlander Grog was like the flavored coffee and I didn't want that. So I just had the Patashu blend because it's like a good, smooth, dark blend. And then Alex had coffee. He had the Patashu blend as well. Then he had a bowl of tomato soup and the Cuban, which he didn't eat most of it. So he brought it home. He's been doing that lately. Then he'll heat it up later and eat it. I had the California Dreamer and um, with no jalapenos this time. And then, it is so cold out here. I have like, <laughs> I have my jeans on um, with my holes and then I'm like my very, look at my, I, this coat is making it look like my stomach. And then I have my, uh, there's my holy jeans and then I have my very basic Ugg boots on because we're getting ready to go walk in the snow. Ah! So anyway, um, and then, I don't know, tonight we might watch a movie or something like that. He has no plans, I have no plans tonight. So we're just gonna be around here. And it is supposed to be like, so cold. Last night, when I would take Boo Radley out, it was so cute. He would like run all, cause he, you know, doesn't realize at first how cold it is. And so he would run all the way down to our neighbor's mailbox. So he does like, goes to her mailbox, then across the street, then down to the corner, and then he comes back to our, to my neighbor next door, and then to our, our mailbox, and he comes inside, right? So he ran all the way down <laughs> to her mailbox, box he peed and then he came running all the way back down um up our driveway and up our walk and he was like looking at me like it's time to go inside dad it's too cold so anyway um so yeah so it's it was so cold last night i, I was talking to tanya and i mean I, I told her like she called me and i thought she like she had something like important to tell me and so i said i haven't been taking any phone calls tonight or calling anybody because alex is asleep he went to bed very early last night i was like alex is asleep upstairs and you know we have a loft uh condo and so if i'm sitting downstairs talking it's like you know it wakes him up and so i said i'm like literally have like three minutes to stand out here in the cold and she was laughing she's like it is so cold she's like i'm trying to get my husband she's trying to get eric to go get her a fountain pop because she didn't want to drive to the gas station to get a fountain pop and um, i was like what are you doing she's like i'm in bed cozying like with a book she's like i'm like reading a book i'm so cold she was like it's so like it's so toasty warm in our bedroom she's like so i'm like up here staying warm so anyway so the extent of my phone conversation, I was like supposed to have this like, you know, phone date with Mel last night. And I felt so bad. I texted Mel and I was like, I am so sorry. I was like, it is too cold for me to stand outside and Alex is asleep. <laughs> she was a little LOL. She was like, I get it. So anyway, um, 
And so it's supposed to be like, it's supposed to like drop. I think last night it was like with wind chill factors, it was supposed to be like something like, like 10 or 20 below zero. I don't know if it was that cold, but it was cold. And then tonight it's supposed to be like equally as cold. So, um, so yeah, so when I was like at brunch and stuff, I was like, I thought, well, maybe I won't make any videos today and whatever. And then Alex came home and I said, what are you gonna do? And he was like, well, I'm gonna look at some TikToks and rest. I'm gonna like fold towels. I had done like a load of towels and stuff like that. I was like, I can fold them, don't worry about it. And he's like, well, I wanna take a shower and then I'm gonna like take a nap for a while. I might, you know, go to sleep for a long time and then like we can watch a movie later if you want to or you can watch your shows and I can watch mine because he might, you know, watch, like I said, Traders tonight. So we're just gonna be like relaxing around the house and weekends like this are perfect for just being cozy inside your house. And I got these new coffee mug, coffee cups and saucers that I found on Reese's book club and they came yesterday from Amazon. And so I did a video showing them today because I want to use them tonight. They're so cute. Um, they kind of remind me of like Alice in Wonderland, the tea party and stuff like that. You'll have to go over go over to my Peter Dust stuff channel. You don't have to watch the whole video, but just check them out. Um, I actually, I found the link for them on Amazon because I thought somebody out there was going to want to know what these are. And so I put on the, the link, I put, this is not an affiliate link because it's not. So anyway, last night, um, what did I do last night? Well, ordered some food, of course, and then I can't remember what I watched last night. What was last night? Friday? What did I watch last night? I didn't watch Life After Lockup. Um, I watched something, and then I laid down. I like caught up on something. I can't remember what it was. Southern Hospitality? I think I watched Southern Hospitality last night and one other thing that I had to catch up on. And then I lay down for a while, took such a nap. It was so nice just being in bed with Alex and Boo Radley and being so cozy and warm in the bedroom with the humidifier going and the fan going. It was so nice. And um, so we usually keep all the doors closed, like the door to the bathroom because the bathroom is like right over the garage. It's like, so it's like the garage is not heated and so the bathroom is always cold. And then the closet, the walk-in closet, has like one heating vent and it never gets really warm. And so Alex was like, the other night, he was like, well, the bathroom is so freezing to go into in the morning, I wanna keep the door open, that way the heat from the bedroom goes into, like, we're not very technological. <laughs> we don't think about the airflow and things like that, right? And the condo was not made great as far as vents. Like, there's like, our bedroom has like two vents and then the closet has one and the bathroom has one, right? Like the bathroom has one like plug, <laughs> like that makes no sense. And so I at first was like, well, it's gonna be freezing then because the cold from the garage and the bathroom is gonna come into the bedroom. And he's like, well, I understand that, but it's like freezing to go in the bathroom in the morning and get ready. And I was like, okay, whatever. So we've been leaving the bathroom door open, the closet door open, the bedroom doors open and stuff when we sleep. And it's so weird this year. Like, our house has been, like, so, especially upstairs. Like, I've said in the past, like, it's very cold up at stairs in the winter and very hot in the summer. And we, in the summer, we keep the doors closed, too. Because the, the heat from the garage goes into the bathroom and the bathroom is super hot and things like that. Well, now, the whole upstairs, the bathroom, the closet, the bedroom, everything, it's, like, toasty warm. The whole house has been, like, really toasty warm. And we're not keeping it any higher than we usually do. So it's been really, really, like, nice. So I don't know, Alex was on to something. So yeah, so I watched that, then I laid down and I took a nap, and then I got up and I watched, like, I don't know how many episodes of Vanderpump Rules. I'm on episode 11 of season six right now. So, um... I'm hoping to power through, like, six or seven episodes tonight. Six, six or seven episodes tomorrow night. But I also have True Detective and 90 Day Fiance tomorrow night, and I have a hair appointment on Monday. So... I know, my life's so difficult. <laughs> my life's so difficult. I love my life. I feel so blessed to be able to make videos and then spend time with Alex and Boo and, you know, relax and Cousin Fun Day and talking to Tanya, Mel, and Nikki and my friends on the phones, texting with Valerie today. And I just have such a wonderful life. I feel so blessed, you know? Just like the smallness of it. Oh, I wanted to address one comment that I got in my video. So I was like, you know, talking about my weight and stuff the other day, and this was not a nasty comment. The comment was very, very nice. And the person even prefaced this by saying, I'm not a hater, you know, but like, I feel like Peter's really struggling with his weight and stuff like that. And it was such a nice comment. I like, I want you to know, I didn't take it in any like negative way. So please don't anybody go over there and, and be nasty about it. It was a nice comment. It was from somebody that has actually commented on my vlog for quite some time. But I wanted to make this real clear when I talk about like my weight and like ordering food, you know, from Cheesecake Factory or wherever. Um, 
like it is a struggle for me like it and I was talking about like my food addiction and all that kind of stuff the other day like all of that is a struggle for me but at the end of the day like I take full responsibility and knowing that I'm the one getting on the computer and ordering the food I'm the one that's choosing to put like not good food choices in my mouth and I'm not talking about just like a cheat day here and there like I've been eating like not great for like a long time consistently you know I think we know that it's also my choice whether I get outside and I walk for 30 or 40 minutes even if it's cold outside I can like you know put my heated vest on which I don't know why I didn't do that today <laughs> put my heated vest on put you know like long johns on underneath my pants and stuff like that socks and boots the whole nine yards I could go do you know it's my choice at the end of the day and I think that's one of the, the greatest things I've learned from, you know, being in recovery is, you know, especially in inventory, when we look at like resentments and we look at fears and we look at um, conduct. And then the fourth part to all of that, the fourth column is what is your part in that? And what I learned from that through the years is that it, in all things in my life and you know, even really, really hard things in my life. Because I am not responsible for things that were done to me, you know, when I was a child and things like that. Like, I, like that, I, I'm not responsible for those things. What I am responsible for today is, am I doing the work to work through those things? Am I choosing to stay angry and resentful? Do, you know what I mean? Like, am I choosing to stay in victim mentality instead of moving through it? Am I choosing to share my story to maybe help somebody else? Am I choosing to turn my wounds into wisdom? Things like that. The other stuff that's not as deep as that, right, that I have to take a look at as far as all, you know, all aspects of my life, I have a part in that. I have a responsibility in that, you know? And so ultimately, in all things in my life, I ask myself that question a lot. Like, well, what's your choice? What's your responsibility? What's your accountability? And when it comes down to my health journey, my weight loss journey and stuff like that, Ultimately, it's all my decision. I know that, right? Like, I don't blame that on anybody else. You know, it's, you know, like, whether I choose to eat bad or get outside and be active or choose to eat healthy and live a healthy lifestyle, that's go to bed at a reasonable time and all that kind of stuff. That's, you know, trying to make good food choices, be active, lift weights. All of that is on me. I take full responsibility for that. You know, it's like, in recovery, we say, you know, there's this kind of like mantra that I can't get somebody sober and I can't get them drunk. You know, I don't have that kind of power. I wish I did. I wish I had the power to get somebody sober because trust me, through the years, and I'm sure many of you out there relate to this when it comes to addiction, I have wanted so many people that I have known in my life, so many friends of mine, to get sober. And the reality was, to some degree, I think I wanted it and friends of mine wanted it for them more than they wanted it from themselves, you know? So... Um, it's my story. I'm going to continue to talk about weight issues on here and stuff like that. You know, it's part of my story, not every video. But I also, like, it, the person's comment was kind of like, I feel bad for Peter. I know he's struggling. Like, I, I appreciate that. That was a really kind comment. But at the end of the day, like, I take responsibility for that. You know, it is a struggle for me. You know, recovery was a struggle for me. But at the end of the day... It's on me, you know, and I know that. I fully know that. You know, I've said this in, in multiple videos. Like, nobody can tell me anything or say anything to me that I haven't already thought about myself. Like, you know, back in the day when I would get the comments, you know, about, like, my weight or my gut or what. It was like, I already knew those things, you know. Sure, it hurt, but I already knew those things, you know. And um, it, it's it's difficult, but I also know... I know the things to do to get healthy, and I'm just not doing those today. And that's ultimately my choice. I take responsibility for that. You know, just like nobody could get me drunk and nobody could get me sober, that was my responsibility. Nobody can get me on a health, you know, journey except for myself. So if I succeed or if I fail, that's on me completely, you know? And, and the other thing is, it's the reason why I am more about, like, goals instead of resolutions, <laughs> because... Because somebody, maybe it was the same person, I don't know, but they said something like it was his goal, you know, in January. And that's why, like, it's my goal of 2024. It's my goal for my life, you know? Like, eventually, hopefully, things will start getting better. That might be tomorrow. That might be next week. I don't know when that will be, you know? I know it's not today because I didn't eat well at brunch. But I am going on a walk here in a second. But, um, you know, ultimately, it's my responsibility and ultimately uh, what I, you know, do with my health journey is on me, fully on me, you know? And um, 
I remember one time, like, with my mom, I think it was, like, at a family group or something, and she said something about she felt so guilty for my whatever, or maybe it was just she and I having a conversation, I can't remember now, but I said, that's not fair for you to take responsibility over my addiction, because if you're responsible for my addiction, you're responsible for my recovery as well, and I've worked too hard for that, that that's, that's between me and my higher power, like, you know, I did that with the aid of my higher power, you know? Um, that's nobody else's you know, and she was like, oh, I totally get that. I totally understand that, you know? And so it's the same thing, like whether, you know, and I don't, like where, the, the, the difference between recovery from like, like if you look at recovery from food addiction, you look at recovery from like addiction, addiction, or a substance addiction, where it's different is when you talk about like what is abstinence and it's defined in different ways and things like that. And I don't necessarily compare those two, but for me, you know, with both, there are, there are ups and downs and ups and downs, you know? Um, and the reality is, I lost a lot of weight over health issues. It wasn't like I was working real hard to lose weight. You know, I, I lost weight over medication changes and things like that. So, I don't know. You know, it, it's... I mean, it's hard for me when it's cold out here like this and all I want to do is, like, you know, <laughs> drink Diet Dr. Peppers and coffee and, like, eat cheesecake. And I mean, that's hard, right? But it's also ultimately my choice. You know, I've known people that have had it... I mean, like, watching Thousand Pound Sisters with Tammy Slayton. I mean, she was six, seven hundred pounds, you know? She did it. If she can do it, I can do it, you know? And so, um... Yeah, it's that responsibility for fully lies on myself. But I wanted to go around and I wanted, so I wanted to say that. And I just wanted to say to that person that commented, I, I thought your comment was very kind. Um, and I appreciate it. And it also kind of was like a little bit of a wake-up call for me that I was like, it is a struggle, but I don't want to use that as an excuse. You know, before I got sober, I used a lot of things as excuses. Like, well, if, if you had my, like this mantra, that this other mantra, mantra, but this kind of joke we have in recovery is like, if you had my life, you know, you drink too, or you drug too, or, you know, pour me, pour me, pour me another drink. I, there really aren't any excuses. There aren't any excuses for me not being on a health journey. That's on me, you know? All right. So I wanted to say thank you to the person that left that comment. And I wanted to kind of explain that a little bit more. Um, and should we go walk? I'm getting really, really cold, so this is not gonna be a long vlog today. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, so nice to have my new camera that I can put on the tripod. Oh my god, you guys, it is so you know what? I'm gonna have to go put on my heated vest and then come back. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Oh my god, and the tripod is freezing cold. I didn't even think about that. Should I, should I go get mittens? I think I need to go get mittens. Hold on. Okay, now I think I'm ready to go. I have my mittens on. Some they have holes in them. Look at it. <laughs> I was inside and um, Alex came down to let Boo Radley out, and he goes, "Look at those mugs you got." And I go, "Oh, I know. Aren't they so cute? My new coffee mugs." And I said, "Aren't they so cute?" And he goes, "Yeah, they look very D DIY." Hold on a second. I have has my vest gone down yet? No, I. The other day, I put this vest on for the vlog, and then I didn't, um, <laughs> like, hit it when it went. It goes from red, and then it goes to the white, to the blue. I usually can feel it, but I haven't been using it as much because I haven't been outside so much. I want to turn on. Okay. So, here we go. Are you ready? You guys want to see the neighborhood? Okay. Oh, shoot. I just fell over. <laughs> I fell over a rock. I kicked this rock out of our walkway. Okay. Put that back there. Look at all this snow in our walkway. Look at all of that. Oh, it's so pretty, isn't it? Look at this. Our neighbor, he did all that. And then he did his and his walkway. And then he did, this is my neighbor on the corner. And then he did theirs down there, too. So, oh, little doggies outside. Well, hi, honeys. Oh, my lord. They're like, let us inside. It's so cold, you guys out here. I looked online before I came out to see how cold it was. And it said it feel it's 15 degrees, but it feels like, I can't even remember what it said, but it was like, and it's supposed to be three, and with wind chill, like negative 20 or something like that. It is so cold right now. Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. Look at this. So I got my snow. I got my Christmas snow in January, which is appropriate because I'm still listening to a Christmas cozy mystery. So, oh my gosh, Whew. my hands are cold. 
<laughs> okay, this is gonna be a short vlog today because there is no way that I can walk for a long period of time around here. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Oh, oh hold on a second. Okay. Look at the poor pool. The tennis court, oh my gosh. Oh, but man, the sun coming out looks so pretty over there. The sunset in the snow. That should be the my thumbnail for my video, shouldn't it? And I'll call it sunset in the snow. That is kind of a... It is pretty out, though. Look at the pool. When I woke up this morning, Alex goes, happy birthday. And I go, it's not my birthday. He goes, yeah, it is. He was like, the snow's melted. It's your birthday. He goes, you slept all through winter. And he said, and the pool's open. I go, the pool's open. He was being so silly. Is this not so pretty? Just look at this. My fingers, oh my God, the tips of my fingers are so cold. Look at this. I guess I should have worn like full mittens, shouldn't I? <laughs> Welcome to uh, winter in Indiana. Look at this, I mean there's like, lake all covered with snow all these birds up in this tree over here I love the stillness of winter so pretty well okay just a random fallen branch <laughs> Okay, I'm going back, you guys. So this is gonna be a real short vlog today. But I wanted to do a little walk in the snow. Oh my gosh, hold on a second. Is it down? It is, look. Whew, okay, heat up, heat up, baby. Heat up. <laughs> okay. Well, that was fun. That was fun, but my fingers were cold. And yeah, okay. But we did it. And I even walked for, let's see, five minutes. I walked for five minutes. <laughs> I got some exercise in today. I walked for five minutes. Woo! I'm so proud of myself. I can't believe this is the pool, you guys. Look. Right here, that's where I used to sit with my coffee. <laughs> now it's all covered in snow. Ah! Let me in, let me in, I wanna come to the pool. <laughs> the reality is, if they opened the pool, I probably would come up here today. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. I can already see it right now. Peter said he would go to the pool if it was open today, and it's 15 degrees. He's such a liar. <laughs> oh my gosh, what happened to the door? Oh, it was so windy. Look at this. Oh, I can't even get it up. It's like iced in there. Oh, I was gonna pick it up and put it on there. Oh, it's like, aw. We'll have to wait until it like, can see where it is. It won't come up at all. Oh, gosh! Look at that. Walk around it. There's our backyard. 
They keep on saying like every day, no snow, and then I go outside at night and it's like snowing and we get more snow. So I don't really, to be honest with you, my fingers are like literally frozen, look at this. I don't know if we're supposed to get more snow tonight. They say we're not. <laughs> I don't know who they are, the meteorologists. They say that we're not supposed to have more snow tonight, but who knows. I feel like every fireplace, I wish you guys could smell it, because first of all, it smells so fresh and clear out here, like fresh snow, and it's just like the air feels so good, but it also smells like every person in the neighborhood has their fireplace burning, and I love that smell, so... uh yeah, I don't have any clean eggs. <laughs> I was gonna do have to wash this. Um, but it smells like every fireplace. <laughs> Ooh, Peter wiped his nose. My nose is running, I don't know what to do. Of course. <laughs> Ooh, Peter, he's disgusting. He wiped his nose on his mittens. Um, but every like smells like everybody has their fireplace burning in the neighborhood. Whew. Oh my gosh. You guys see my ears? They're like red. It is so cold out here, you guys. Well, listen, I'm gonna get off here now so I can run inside. So I'm gonna do a real short intro, outro tonight, real short outro. I hope that you guys are having a, I think my camera's even like fogging up. I hope that you guys are having a magically amazing Saturday. Remember, I won't be, look, ice on the ground too, see? Ice. I hope that you guys are having a magically amazing Saturday, staying warm, enjoying your weekend, and left your someplace like Australia where somebody said it's really hot down there. I hope you're having a magically amazing, fantastic weekend. I love you guys. I won't be here tomorrow because I'm going to be spending time with family and with Alex and Boo. I love you, and I will see you on Monday. Bye. Love you. <laughs>